Uh, YouTube, this is Patrick, and, um, well, I'm done watching Game of Thrones, and I'm done doing those reviews, so basically I'm going to move on to my next show, uh, which, coincidentally, are always on Sunday nights. Um, this one, it starts this Sunday, uh, True Blood, and um, as far as my feelings on True Blood have gone, um, I enjoyed Season 1 very much. I loved Season 2, except for the just probably the last half hour of Season 2. I found underwhelming. Season 3 I thought was a downgrading quality, and Season 4 was a continuing downgrading quality with an uptake in the cheesy campy um, kind of factor. And the way I'm coming into Season 5 is basically this. If the show is going to be a mess, at least I want it to be an entertaining mess that holds me over for 12 episodes. Um, you know... Alan Ball, the creator of the show, I've said this in other videos that I've done for True Blood. He did Six Feet Under. I love that show. I hope... What I hope for Season 5 is that we can somehow get those moments in the show where everything is just batshit insane and a lot of fun, but at the same time we can get those moments where, you know, kind of like when Godric um, uh, burned up on the rooftop. Some really high emotional moments. That I haven't seen a, a moment like that on the show in, in uh, two and a half seasons. Um, and I'd like to see something like that this year. And if, if the show can find the balance of doing those things every now and then while being, you know, completely, completely just crazy, I think it's a good thing. But one of the problems with it is one of the problems with uh, Game of Thrones I just finished watching. Well, this show has a bigger problem is that there's so many characters. And the thing is, on this show, there's so many characters, but this show thinks that they all deserve the same amount of screen time. They don't. They do not at all. I'm going to get into the characters for this season and what I expect um, from everyone and why I'm looking forward to the season. Um, I'm going to save a spoiler for the end of this little preview. I know about something or I've got a pretty good idea about something and I don't want to spoil it for anyone if, they have, if they're going into it cold. Um, but I'll let you guys know when I'm going to speak about that. As far as characters go, Bill and Eric are on the run this year. It looks like on the run from the Authority, or maybe even working with the Authority at, at one point. Um, played by the actor uh, who's on Oz, who's on Law and Order. Also, um, I like him a lot, and I like you know he he he'll make a good villain or whatever he's gonna be. Um, and I gotta say, Bill and Eric together is it's just so much better than Bill and Eric just being with Sookie. Not saying anything against Sookie, but like when Bill and Eric are around her, it kind of drags their characters just down. So they actually have the possibility to have a lot of fun this season, and I hope, I hope that delivers. They're going to need it to deliver. They really do. Um, so I hope it does. Um, Jessica's not going to have Bill around. He's not going to be king. I don't know what that does for her. Um, she's got this whole thing going on with Jason... I don't know where that's going. Jason's got this whole thing with Newland now, which I like. Newland's a fun character. Um, I don't. Re I don't really have anything to say about it now because I'll see. I'll wait to see where it goes with um, with the season, what they're going to do with it. Um, Hoyt. There was a quick screenshot of Hoyt covered in like blood in one preview. So if Hoyt's going to get, Hoyt's a character that does not deserve the screen time he gets. But if they're going to give him something good to do, something crazy to do, then yeah, I'll look forward to seeing him every week. So hopefully they can do that. Um, I love Jessica. <clears throat> I love Jessica. Um, so I hope they give her some... I hope, you know, her character doesn't get diminished in any way or anything like that. Um, I hope she doesn't go too far, far off the ra off the like rails this season where um, her storyline is that far outside of everyone else's. I hope... I like when she's... I like when all the characters are kind of kept together, um, by her specifically. Uh, Sam and his um, girlfriend, I forget her name, I know she's gorgeous, that's about it. Um, I, I like Sam, I, I want nothing bad to happen to Sam, but that's not going to be the case. Him and uh, Alice Seed are going to have a problem, um, but um, yeah, I don't know, what, I'm not that interested in that storyline, but again, we'll see where they go with it. So, um, yeah. Um, Terry and Arlene, again, why is Terry and Ar why are Terry and Arlene getting their own storyline? As if their storyline last season with the baby possession thing worked. 
Is this one a little more intriguing with Scott Foley and Terry having some weird past or whatever? Yeah, I guess. But, you know, I'm going to reserve judgment, but I'm going to pounce on this one quickly if it sucks right away. I got to say that. Um, the wild card and everything is Russell, who we know is coming back. Um, we don't know how they're going to use him yet. I assume he's going to be kind of off-season, not going to come back right away, and when he does come back, he's going to not be like a formidable force right away. Probably by the end of the season he will be, but I have a feeling it's going to be like a slow burn for him where he's going to come back, and he, it's just going to take the entire season for him to really get to the point where he's going to be able to challenge everybody. Uh, they have to do that, otherwise it's just a 3,000-year-old vampire on the loose. You know, They can't just have him doing that all season because it will be like, why doesn't he just kill Sookie right away or whatever. So, um, maybe they'll surprise me or not, but I'm looking forward to him, uh, coming back. Okay. Sookie looks like he's gonna get past Alice Seed this season. Um, it was Bill for the first, uh, three seasons, then three seasons, then Eric last season, and now it'll be Alice Seed's turn, I guess, this time. Um, yeah. Okay. Um... Basically, the thing is, with everyone gone, what is Sookie going to be dealing with in Bonton? Is the fairy stuff going to come in? If it does, how is it going to come in? I don't know what Andy was doing last season with that. I, even, I just remember that just now. Uh, another character we don't need to see all season, but I'm sure we will. Um, I don't mean to sound negative about the show. I want the show to be, you know, just brilliant week in and week out. I just think they have a lot of problems that aren't going to be fixed, from what I, from what I can tell. Um, but, uh, anyway, as far as this is the spoiler thing, so if you don't want to know anything, there's something that's obviously, not that it's leaked, but it's pretty obvious if you've seen the promotions and everything like that, or even the preview. Uh, okay, so stop watching this. Stop if you don't want to know anything. It relates to a certain character from last season, so don't. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tara was apparently shot in the head last season. Looked like she was dead. Yeah, she's not dead. She's on all the posters. Uh, they, Suki and Lafayette... I forgot about Lafayette. Uh, Suki and Lafayette are burying someone in the promo. That's clearly Tara being buried. They don't look that upset, like that distraught that she's dead, which means that she's being turned into a vampire. And there's a screenshot of Pam um, in, I think, the preview in Suki's house. So I'm sure Eric like commands Pam to go over there and do something, and Pam becomes a maker. I, we're supposed to hear about Pam's past this season, so I'm sure they're going to do showing how Pam was made and then Pam making someone and all that. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, so... Now, Tara's a character that a lot of people hate. I She's, again, someone like anyone on this show that if she has something fun to do, like being a vampire, um... It you know might be worth it. I actually think Tara's going to have a good season. Um, I'm annoyed that she's not dead just for the fact that I think it loses so much from season four, but season four was such a mess anyway. Um, but I'm, again, I'm not going to come into this like, you know, wanting the show to be terrible. Who, why would you watch then? Um, so I hope all these things succeed. I hope the, tar I hope the tower thing is great. I hope her dealing with, I hope she's not just moping. That's the thing. She's been moping for four seasons. I hope she embraces everything and becomes a completely different, like, character or something like that. Um... And her, you know, dynamic with Pam, and then with Suki and Luffy, and all this shit. Um, yeah. I think that's all I got. I will say, I'm not going to be able to review the first episode um, until a week after it airs. I'll probably do a double review of episodes one and two, because I'm going to Miami next week. So I won't be able to really uh, review it. Um, so sorry about that. But I will do it. I will do episodes one and two the following week, and then I should be able to do every episode every week after that. Alright, so until then, guys... Um, I hope you watch. Adios.